knew you burnouts would be down here. You guys, it's almost midnight. Mrs. Foreman is pouring the champagne. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things we want to see in the That 70s Show reboot. I'm so psyched, man. I got this, like, four-foot bottle rocket, and I'm going to, like, tie it to my arm and light it and just blast into the future. For this list, we're going over the most notable elements, both new and old, that we hope will be featured in that 90s show. Is there a 70s or 90s thing we forgot? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Bob Pinciotti Bob is Donna's dad and the longtime neighbor of the Foreman family. He's also probably the closest thing Red Foreman has to a friend. You didn't buy that in my store, did you? No, Bob, I uh, got a good deal on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Oh, you, you got me, Red. Chipper and always following the latest trends, his personality acts in great contrast to Red's. While the end of the series saw Bob move to Florida, we hope he'll come to visit his old neighbors and grandchild in Wisconsin. Want to see my tan lines? <laughs> oh, for gosh sakes, Bob. Joke's on you. I don't got no tan lines. Woohoo! We're curious to see if he's kept his 70s hairstyle or whether he's given up and gone full bald yet. It's probably better if he still has it. Kitty would barely keep it together otherwise. Sinuses. Number 9. The Vista Cruiser. That's a Vista Cruiser. You could literally. Cruise the Vistas. One of the most iconic parts of that 70s show is Eric Foreman's Vista Cruiser. Besides cruising the Vistas, the gang spends plenty of time in and around the old station wagon. Eric also has many memorable moments with Donna in and on top of the car. All I'm saying is we have to wait for the right time. Okay. How about now? The iconic vehicle is even featured in the opening title sequence. So it seems only fitting that the Vista Cruiser makes a return in that 90s show in some fashion. It could be a starter car for Eric's daughter Leia, but we'd even settle for a cameo in the foreman's garage. Keep your eyes peeled for the Vista Cruiser. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Number 8. The Water Tower What would Point Place be without its water tower? The teens make many excursions to the spot, whether they're heading there to put graffiti on it or throw something off of it. Sure did! Why didn't somebody say something? So that you'd throw your keys into the woods. <laughs> oh, what, that's a good burn. I had very little to do with it. It's also something of a running gag that they all fall off. We'd love to see the next generation follow in these footsteps to make their marks on the water tower too, literally and figuratively. It doesn't have to look perfect, Hyde. It's art. Get up and make it better! We can only imagine what they'd be able to do with spray paint or the hilarious ways in which they dent the ground after falling. It's a Point Place tradition. One, two, three! <laughs> Number 7. 90s Technology I would like a cassette player for the car. A cassette, not an 8-track. No 8-track, okay? As part of its setting, the show strived to be as faithful as it could be when recapturing the 70s. And a big part of that was capturing the technology of the time. Items like Betamax and microwaves were cutting edge back then, and we saw characters struggling to use them correctly. It would only make sense for trends of the last decade of the 20th century to make their way into that 90s show. We fully expect to see items like Walkmans, boomboxes, Tamagotchis, and cell phones. Plus, how will Red and Kitty respond to dial-up internet? Hopefully they figure it out better than they did the Betamax. How do they get the movie onto the tape when it's way the heck over here, Red? <laughs> it's… it's complicated. Number 6. Betsy Kelso Oh! Gee! Okay! Okay! I'm on my way! This is it! I'm having a baby! Michael Kelso becoming a parent during the course of the original show wasn't exactly surprising, given how promiscuous he was. One, don't date Kelso. Two, don't date Kelso. <laughs> yeah, it even says that on the sign when you drive into town. <laughs> Welcome to Point Place. Don't date Kelso. The high school band spells that out during halftime. 
As far as we know, his daughter Betsy grew up in Chicago with her mother Brooke, and Kelso was in her life to some degree. While Betsy isn't currently listed in the cast list as a regular character, we could easily see her in a recurring part. Can't you just imagine her filling a similar role to Lori from the original show? She could be the older girl who sometimes hangs out with or causes problems in the gang. We just hope she takes after her mom in the brains department. I can't believe that looking in this mirror isn't putting her in a great mood. <laughs> it always works for me. Number 5. A Remix of the Opening That 70s show had one of the most rocking theme songs ever, In the Street, sung by multiple artists, most notably Cheap Trick. Now, that 90s show could go in a different direction for their opening track, perhaps using a famous hit from the title decade. However, a 90s-flavored remix of In the Street would be more than welcome, and would certainly help make the shows feel more connected. Alternative rock and grunge were big during the decade, so maybe something along those lines? Whatever they end up going with, we look forward to hopefully shouting, Hello, Wisconsin! all over again. Wisconsin. Number 4. The Circle Donna's leaving town. It's the end of the decade. We should be doing something awesome, man. Something we have never done before. Or this. <laughs> <coughs> One of the series' distinctive features is the circle. Circular, 360-degree shots of the characters sitting, usually in a smoke-filled environment. The circle acts as a fun break from the usual action, and often moves the plot forward, albeit in bizarre and funny ways. Upstairs. Now! I am in huge trouble. <laughs> The go-to activity the gang engages in while sitting there has never really waned in popularity either. So we could easily see the next generation partaking, especially since the 90s offered plenty of interesting topics to discuss. Plus, there's always the classic car that runs on water if they need something to talk about. It's got a fiberglass air-cooled engine and it runs on water. <laughs> so it is a boat. Number 3. 90s Fashion the original show constantly gave us plenty of that 70s flavor. Now girls, look how pretty, smile, nice, now boys, oh, so handsome. A 90s soundtrack will undoubtedly play an important part in making the new series feel grounded in its decade. But we're most excited to see all the era's fashion on display. That 70s show brought a lot of groovy trends back to our screens, from bell bottoms to feathered hair. Yeah, I've been down that road. <laughs> no! And now, we look forward to revisiting iconic looks from the 90s. Let's see some ripped jeans, slap bracelets, and bucket hats. And we also can't forget the flannel. If she's anything like her mom, Donna's daughter Leia could definitely lead the charge on that last one. And Donna thinks she'll make a great lumberjack. <laughs> Stop telling everybody that! Number 2. 90s Guest Stars that 70s show frequently had guest stars who were famous during, you guessed it, the 1970s. When will I see you again? Don't worry, kitty. I'll take care of you. These ranged from sitcom stars to musical legends. These cameos added a little something special to the series. That's why we would like that 90s show to continue with the tradition. All right, you perverts. Stop it right now. <laughs> Another fruit salad? After all, the 90s gave us some of the most beloved TV shows of all time, including that 70s show itself. So, there's no shortage of actors to choose from. And the pop sensations of the time were nothing to scoff at either. Needless to say, it'd be nice and super nostalgic to see some 90s stars show up for a guest spot, or five. Doesn't really matter if you're on the run, it seems like we're meant to be. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number one, the gang. I've been gone so long. Eric, things are a lot different now. That 90s show mostly has its own cast, though we know Red and Kitty will be there. But we're also interested in seeing the original gang of teenagers we hung out with for so many years. While Eric and Donna's daughter Leia will be a central character, we want to see her parents at some point too. What has Fez been up to? Has art imitated life? Are Kelso and Jackie together in the show's universe? Even if we don't get to see them all, we'd still appreciate hearing what they've been up to in the intervening years. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll just make my quote. What a long, strange trip it's been. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.